Welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Samasa in Paninian Grammar. And this is the first course on Samasa. We begin our lecture with the recitation of the Mangala Charana. Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Charikarti Bari Bharti Sanjari Harti Leelaya Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Charikarti Bari Bharti Sanjari Harti Leelaya We are studying Tatpurusha Samasa now and the features of the Tatpurusha Samasa are captured in this particular equation as we have said before as well where you have x as a separate independent constituent and there is another constituent called y and when they get compounded you have a constituent called xy one unit this is one unit and in this xy it is y who is going to be the head by default semantically and also formally. This is the basic feature of the Tatpurusha Samasa. In the previous lecture, we have studied the Dvitiya Vibhakti Tatpurusha and we said that we won't be dealing with all the sutras in the section dealing with the Dvitiya Vibhakti Tatpurusha now we shall be dealing with the Tritiya Vibhakti Tatpurusha. And Tritiya Vibhakti Tatpurusha is dealt with in this small subsection to 132 to 135. We won't be dealing with all the sutras, but we'll be dealing with the main and major sutras in this particular subsection. The first sutra is Tritiya Tatkritarthena Guna Vachanena to 130. Tritiya Tatkritarthena Guna Vachanena. There are three words in the sutra. The first one is Tritiya. This is Prathama Ekavachana, and therefore by the sutra Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam. This becomes the Upasarjana and therefore Upasarjanam Purvam applies and Tritiyanta occupies the initial position in the compound. There is Purva Nipata. The second word is Tatkritarthena which is Tritiyaikavachana and Tatkritarthena means by that which is done by the meaning of that. That second that refers to the word ending in the Tritiya Vibhakti mentioned by the word Tritiya in the Sutra. So the word mentioned in the Tritiya Vibhakti is doing something and that is what is referred to by Tat Kritarthena, Tat Kritena Arthena. Tat means Tritiyanta. Gunavachanena is again 3 slash 1 has co-referentiality with Tatkritarthena and Gunavachana means a word which states the quality or also part. So the words continued in this sutra are Sup, Sahasupa and also Samarthapadavidhi which is always there. So the meaning of the sutra is the following. Tritiyantam subantam tatkritena tritiyantarthena kritena gunavachanena samarthena subantena saha samasyate. And this is called tatpurusha. What it means is that the subanta 
ending in tritya vibhakti is compounded with a semantically related subanta whose meaning is expressive of quality or part made by the meaning of that tritiyant so here we have the first sup having tritiya and the second sup with the pratipadika which is tritiyantartha krita and also guna vachana and in such a case the compound output would be the pratipadika of the first subanta tritiyant this is that pratipadika plus the tritiyantartha krita guna vachana which is the pratipadika in the second subanta let us look at the example the meaning is a part made by knife shankula is a knife so shankulaya khanda this is the laukika vigraha and the alaukika vigraha is shankula plus ta plus khanda plus su this is the point from where the process of compounding begins so this entire unit is called samasa and therefore is called pratipadika and there we have two suban two sups ta and su as part of the pratipadika so we apply supodhatu pratipadika yoho and then they get deleted so we have shankula plus khanda and we join them together and the finally derived output is shankula khanda now this khanda which is a part this is made by this shankula so shankula is ending in tritiya in the laukika vigraha so this is the tritiyant and the tritiyant word shankula has got a meaning namely knife and this knife is making this part so this part is made by the meaning of the word ending in the tritiya so this khanda is nothing but tat kritartha that means tritiya tritiya is shankula pratipadika which is tritiyant over here so shankula artha krita and this is guna vachana also because this is a part so the conditions are made and the compounding happens the next sutra 2131 is this following purva sadrush samonarth kalah nipuna mishra shlakshnaihi there is only one pad over here purva sadrush samonarth kalah nipuna mishra shlakshnaihi so this is in 3 3 with words purva etc words continued are sup sahasupa and samarth padavidhi the word tritiya is also continued and the word tritiya in is in prathama ekavachana because it is in prathama by the sutra prathama nirdishtam samasa upasarjanam the word in the tritiya vibhakti will be termed upasarjana and it will occupy the initial position of the compound and there will be the purva nipata of the tritiyant word so if we have the purva pada of this kind pratipadika plus tritiya plus purva etc plus su then the compound output would be the pratipadika of the first subanta followed by purva the meaning to be conveyed is who is earlier by one month somebody is senior by one month so now masena purva so masa and purva are interrelated through this vibhakti so masena purva is the laukika vigraha and the alaukika vigraha is masa plus ta plus purva plus su masa plus ta plus purva plus su and then 
uh, Samasa Saudhnaya takes place and then the Pratipadika Saudhnaya takes place. So we delete the sups. So we have Masa plus zero plus Purva plus zero. And then we join the Pratipadikas together and we get the form Masa Purva, which is the compound output. In the similar fashion, other words, they are also compounded and we get the final outputs in following manner. So, Matru Sadrusha, Matra Sadrushaha, who is similar to his or her mother. So, Matru Sadrusha. Similarly, Pitru Sama, who is similar to father. So, Pitra Samaha. Then we have Masho Nam. The word in the sutra is Unartha. Una means less. So, Unartha stands for also the synonyms of Una. The synonym of Una is Vikala. So, Masho Nam is a compound and similar is Masha Vikalam, another compound. That is Mashena Unaha, Mashena Vikalaha. Less by one Masha. The next example is Vakkalaha, Vakkalaha. So, Vakkalaha meaning quarrel by speech. So, Vacha Kalaha. So, Vani is the instrument of the quarrel. And therefore, there is semantic relatedness between the two Subantas. And so, they get compounded in Vakkalaha. Then, Vang Nipuna, skill in speech. Vacha Nipuna, Nipunaha. Finally, we have Buddha Mishra mixed with jaggery. So, Gudena Mishraha, Guda Mishraha. And finally, Achara Shlakshnaha, gentle by behavior. Acharena Shlakshnaha. And we get these compounds derived by this sutra Purva, Sadrusha, Sama, Unartha, Kalaha, Nipuna, Mishra, Shlakshnaihi. All the words mentioned in the sutra, they occupy the second position or Uttarapada in the compound. Let us now study the next sutra, Kartrukarane Krita Bahulam. This is 2.132. And here we have three Padas, Kartrukarane is Prathamad Vivachana 1 slash 2 and this is Prathama Vibhakti. So Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam assigns the term Upasarjana to these two and then Upasarjanam Purvam assigns the Purva Nipata of these two. Krita is 3 slash 1. What it means is with a word ending in a Krit suffix. And Bahulam is 1 slash 1, which means mainly or largely, that is eventually optionally. Because when you say this happens mainly, it means that in some cases it doesn't happen. So there is an option available. Words continued are Sup, Sahasupa and of course Samartha Padavidhi. There is the word Tritiya, which is also continuing, and this is Prathama Ekavachana. So, this is also Upasarjana. Now, Karaturkarane and Tritiya, both of them are in Prathama. So, they both are interlinked and they connect, they convey the meaning together with this interlinkage. And the meaning of the Sutra is the following Karatrartham Tritiya Sup. Karanartham cha trutiya sup. So trutiya conveys karta as well as karana. Such a sup, krudanta pratipadika prakriti kena, subantena, samarthena saha, bahulam samasyate. What it means is the subanta, which has a trutiya sup, such that it expresses either a karta or a karana, is mainly or largely compounded with another interrelated subanta, 
उस प्रातिपदिक इज सच दैट इट एंड्स इन अ कृत सफिक्स एंड आई रिपीट द सुबंध विच हैज़ अ तृतीय सुख सच दैट इट एक्सप्रेसेस आइदर अ कर्ता और अ करण इज मेनली और लार्जली कंपाउंडेड विथ अनदर इंटर रिलेटेड सुबंध हुज प्रातिपदिक इज सच दैट इट एंड्स इन अ कृत सफिक्स so the structure of the compound derived by this sutra is the following this is the first subandha and in this first subandha there is a pratipadika followed by the tritiya vibhakti denoting either karta or karana and the second subandha is such that the pratipadika consists of a krit suffix at the end and the derived output is such that the pratipadika of the first subandha occupies the first position initial position and the second pratipadika at the end of which comes this krit suffix is the second member or the uttara pada of the compound now when trutiya denotes karta the interrelated krit denotes karma when trutiya denotes karana the interrelated krit denotes either karta or karma this is the semantic interrelation here is an example the meaning is one who has one who was protected by hari harina trataha this is the description of a devotee who was protected by hari now harina and trataha there is a semantic relation trataha consists of the verbal root tra meaning to protect hari is the one who has protected so hari is the karta the suffix ta in trata denotes karma so one who got protected is trata one who got protected by hari hari is karta so karta here is expressed by tritiya so this is the example where tritiya expresses karta so here we have hari plus ta as the first subandha tra plus ta as the pratipadika trata plus su as the second subandha and this ta denotes karta and this ta denotes karma and then because this is termed as samasa this is termed as pratipadika so this su which is part of the pratipadika is deleted so is this ta so we have hari plus 0 plus tra plus ta plus 0 this tra ta is ending in ta which is a krit suffix as it is added after a verbal root but it is not ting so krit the ting is the definition of krit and so we get the finally derived output of the compound haritrat which means the same as harinatratah now this is the second example where the tritiya is denoting karana the meaning to be conveyed over here is one who is torn by nails tearing is the action nail is the karana somebody is doing this obviously nail is the karana nakhaihi bhinna so we have the alaukika vigraha as nakha plus bhis plus bhid plus ta plus su bhinna is derived by adding the suffix ta to the verbal root bhid now this bhis is denoting the sense of karana and this the is denoting the sense of karma now this becomes a samasa and then it becomes a pratipadika and then suppose that the pratipadika yo ho deletes this bhis and su so we have zero over here and we join them together and we get the finally derived output namely nakha bhinna this means the same as nakhair bhinna similarly the other example is one who lived only due to devotion so bhaktya jivitah so jivita has got the verbal root jiva and the suffix ta which is of course sakrit and this means karta and bhakti is the karana so the suffix ta expresses karana 
and T expresses karta. So this is a samasa and su and ta are part of this samasa. So supodhatu pratibhadi kriyo applies and we delete both the sups. So we have bhakti plus jivita and we get the output bhakti jivita as the output of the compound. Bhaktiya jivita was the input, bhakti jivita is the output and they both mean one and the same thing. What is the function of Bahulam? The word Bahulam, which means mainly or largely, that is optionally, is used in a peculiar manner. Sometimes, in spite of the presence of all the conditions stated in the rule, compounding does not take place. This is what is noted in this rule by the word Bahulam by the later commentators. So in case of Dhatrena Lunavan, one who is trimmed by a sickle, and Parashuna Chinnavan, one who is cut by an axe, there is no compounding that is made. Even when the conditions are fulfilled. So to summarize, the Tritiya Vibhakti Tatpurusha also is an example of having compound internal dependencies. They are primarily the interrelations between the constituents. There is also a note on the behavior of speaker which says that not always the compound is made even if all the conditions are present and Paninian grammar uses the word Bahulam and the Paninian grammatical tradition interprets it to account for such behavior of the speaker. The rules prescribing the base Tritiya Vibhakti in some typical sense is assumed by 2.1.31. Existence of such a rule is deduced on account of the compound prescribing rule. So there are some cases where the Tritya Vibhakti prescribing rule is not stated in the other section and directly the compound is stated. So on account of the compound prescription rule, we assume that there must be another rule which prescribes the Tritya Vibhakti in the first place. These are the texts that are referred to. These are the traditional sources. I thank you for your patience.